Long Live Your Turtle here. What if I told you that you never have to do a water change again? What if I told you there's a solution to keeping those nitrates out of your tank? What if I told you that it's actually not that difficult? Is it smoke and mirrors? Is it snake oil? What I have here in this box might be the answer to all our water change frustrations. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, so we don't want water changes. What is that gonna entail? We're gonna need a couple different mechanics and biological types of things happening to keep our water clear, our ammonia zero, our nitrate zero, and our nitrates low or zero. How do we normally do that? Well, we just have a filter that cleans out all of the gross poopy debris to keep our water clear. And then we have bacteria, some nice beneficial bacteria that builds up on our ceramic and biological type media in our filters that eats away at the ammonia, turns that into nitrite. And then there's another bacteria that eats that nitrite and turns it into nitrate. And that nitrate, it doesn't really go away. It starts to build up in the water and then you have to do water changes to remove it. Water changes are kind of a burden. And the whole point of this video is to try and remove the need for water changes or at least reduce them drastically because there is a solution out there that at least claims that it can do this. And that solution is biohome media. Now let me reach into this box and grab this media. We'll talk about why I have these other sponges and filter cloths and such in a second, but in the box here. Now this is Biohome Ultimate Media. So if you've ever tried to research how to avoid water changes, you've probably come across Pond Guru. And this guy is awesome because he takes this Biohome Media and he does a Pimp My Filter series on different types of filters and how to fill it with this media in an attempt to reduce the need for water changes to remove nitrate from the water in your tank. And he has it for a ton of different filters. And no, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. This is a full review on whether or not this works for turtle tanks in my filters that I have on these tanks. So it'll be honest review on whether or not it works for my setups. So why is Biohome Ultimate Media so incredible? And why is it advertised as doing the impossible, which is removing nitrate from your water column? So what this media brags about is it's a centered glass type media. And this is gonna be your more expensive Eheim type, like the center glass pearls is a similar example. Those are very expensive. Um, this is also very expensive. We'll get to the cost breakdown a little later, but why this is such a great filter media is it has a ton of surface area. So me just feeling this kind of feels like sandpaper. And inside of that, you can't really see it, but it's basically a giant network of just cavities, little tunnels and all sorts of places where beneficial bacteria can grow. And this isn't super special. I mean, those really popular white cylinders that you'll see come with the Fluval FX6, for example, those are also great because they have a lot of surface area. The one big difference is a ceramic ring has a lot of surface area on basically the outside of it. With more limited, especially with the big hole in the middle, uh, surface area going through it. So what's special about Biohome is it's just a solid chunk, but with a lot of tiny little spaces on the inside that you can't see. And that's really, really important because aerobic bacteria that breaks down ammonia and then nitrite into nitrate that is all stuff on the surface that can grow outside of these cavities. But anaerobic, which is critical to breaking down your nitrate into N2, where it can just dissolve into your water and then out of your water as the water moves around in your tank. So your nitrate's gone. That anaerobic bacteria grows on the inside where there's a lot less water flow, but it loves to eat up that nitrate. So aerobic likes lots of flow going through it with oxygen feeding the process to break down that ammonia into nitrite, but then you need to slow that down with basically no anaerobic, so no oxygen, and that will just eat up your nitrates, creating that dissolved N2. So the stuff's actually rather simple, and the online site's great because it comes with recommendations of how much you need for different types of tanks. It doesn't specifically talk about turtle tanks, but it talks about like predator tanks or high load cichlid tanks which are gonna be probably similar to a turtle tank. So I use that guidance to figure out what I need for my filter. So I'm gonna be using a Fluval FX6 with this filter media. And on the website, they actually give you a kit specifically 
for the Fluvile FX6. And this aligns with the Pimp My Filter Pond Guru video on how he took the Fluvile FX6 and optimized it for this filter media. And But it also went a little step further and it optimized the types of sponges that you use in the filter to keep your water cleaner longer too. So I went all out and I bought the kit to see how great you can make your filter with what Pond Guru suggests for a turtle tank specifically. So this is gonna be a great experiment and it's gonna take me quite a while to get the measurements I need. First things first, I'm going to rip out my probably extremely dirty Fluvia FX6 filter media and do a water change just to get things into a place where the filter can start to keep up. I'm gonna assemble all this into the filter. Then I'm gonna let the filter run for a month while I take measurements, make sure I don't get any ammonia nitrite spikes right away because I'm gonna be changing out the filter media. But typically in the Fluvia FX6, after two weeks, I'm gonna have a lot of nitrate in the tank that I need to get rid of with a water change. But what I hope to see after a month is my nitrate not reaching the levels that it was and maybe even beyond that, that nitrate going down to a level where I don't need to do a water change every two weeks. And really what this kit does is it takes those expensive coarse sponges in the Fluval FX6 and replaces them with a coarse and a medium in the same location and then puts a fine sponge on top. And then the last thing all the water will go through is the biohome media. So, so maybe a canceled word now, but let's start pimping my filter. All right, so what comes with this kit is your biohome ultimate. It comes with five kilograms, which is exactly what fits in the trays in the Fluval FX6, I think FX5 too. Uh, it's also gonna come with a coarse sponge. Kinda has teeth like that, kinda fits together nicely. Comes with two fine sponges, kinda like a polishing sponge, and then you got your medium sponges. All right, one great thing about this kit is it comes with these starter balls. So this is gonna help a lot with me just fully changing out this filter without doing any sort of gradual change of the ceramic media. I'm going to completely remove it. So I'm gonna remove the ability for this filter to do any sort of beneficial bacteria, breakdown of ammonia and nitrite, which could crash a tank because it's not ready for all the waste that these are gonna create because there's no bacteria to break it down yet. That needs to build up over time. But the kit comes with these starter balls, which you can put directly in your filter and they will do that for you while your filter media starts to build up that beneficial aerobic and anaerobic bacteria to break down that toxic ammonia, nitrite, and hopefully nitrate. So I'm gonna empty this out and then we're gonna start installing all of this stuff into our empty trays of our Fluval FX6. All right, so I just cleaned out the Fluval FX6. It was a little dirty. I had all this stuff in here for four months. Uh, basically started this thing from scratch. So it actually looked really good for four months uh, as a nitrate factory, but I don't want nitrates anymore. I want the whole cycle here. We've got the trays here all cleaned out. What we're not gonna be needing is these separator trays, these red trays. All these are basically gonna be filled with that biohome media. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be filling the outer perimeter with a coarse and then a fine sponge. So the first step with installing this kit is we're going to be installing the outer sponges in our trays. The magic number that Panguru suggests in his videos is three and a half inches. We're at about three and a quarter, um, but you're gonna have a little bit of a gap between each tray if you stack them up here. So three and a half will fill in that space that you see between each tray. So I'm gonna start cutting the three and a half inches. All right, so I cut up all of those coarse and medium coarse sponges. And as you can see, it basically evens out so that each one creates three different sponges for you to use. And you got two of those squares for each. So you get six, which is exactly what you need for all the trays. No excess here. Pongu really likes the little teeth, so it meshes together. What we're gonna do is just install it like it was installed with the white sponges. I'm just gonna shove it down there. So as you can see, I wasn't making perfect cuts. They weren't perfectly measured out, but they're close enough because sponges are pretty flexible. So when you're pushing this down, just make sure you get it all the way down there. All right, there you go. First tray is complete. Just remember, you want the black sponge on the outer perimeter and then the blue sponge. All right, trays are set up. It's now time to add our five kilograms of biohome media. Like your ceramic media, just right in the trays, almost right to the top.
All right, so I got all these trays full now and I actually have a little bit left. So I'm not sure if I'm just not super efficiently packing it or I just got a little bit extra, which is, this is a decent amount extra and this stuff is expensive. So if this doesn't end up working and I, I'm still not keeping up with nitrates, I might actually put this into my larger hang on the back filter, throw it on this tank and really, really try to get this cycle going with this. All right, so next step here is to cut out our fine filter floss here. And what you're basically gonna do is just try to make a circle. And this sticks up a little bit and we're gonna see how that goes. But before I put this on there, what I wanna do is take our starter balls and I'm actually going to pick up one of the trays. I don't want these starter balls getting out of the filter in any way. I want them to be in an efficient location. So take the starter balls and I'm just gonna put them in the middle tray. Woo, look out, oh shoot. All right, I'm gonna trap them in there. Basket arms on the sides. And one thing to mention before I put all this together is just how all this works real quick. So the Fluvat FX6, it has an intake tube that is on the cover and that will come down and it will spray water so that it kind of spirals up perimeter of the basin here. And you can see on the outside of the trays, you have a bunch of these slots and that's where your water is gonna swirl up into those slots and it's gonna go inward because it has nowhere else to go. So it's gonna go through that coarse sponge, pick up the coarse debris, and it's gonna go through that medium sponge, pick up the finer stuff. And then in the basket, you have these little fins. And that's important from the bottom because once it hits the wall on the inside of the tray here, it needs to go somewhere. So it's gonna go up through those fins where it's least obstructed, it's gonna come to the top of the filter, and then where else can it go? Because it needs to get back down to the bottom where the pump is. So it's gonna go up to the top, it's gonna go down through the polished sponge here, and it's gonna go through all of our biohome biological media, and it's gonna go down to the pump at the bottom where this tube pumps up the water and then back out into your tank. So that's basically how it works. And we're gonna put the tray in. Now you just operate the flute valve like you normally would. Fill it up with water and then hook up the hoses, open up the valve and plug it in and it should prime itself and get going. So I'm gonna do a water change real quick on the tank and then we're gonna get this thing purring. All right, filter's running well. Everything is fully operational. All right, so that biohome kit is installed in the Fluval FX6 filter. I'm gonna have it run for the next four weeks. I noticed the flow is a little bit lower than what I would normally expect from a Fluval FX6 from the output nozzle. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that, might tweak some things see if I can get that going a little faster, but I'll report back in four weeks what my results are. All right, so pulled out my ACI test kit and our first test results are between 80 and 160 parts per million. That's no good, that's definitely a water change and I certainly did a water change, that's two weeks. Four weeks, we have, again, between 80 and 160 parts per million, that's unacceptable, that's too much nitrate, gotta clear it out and do a water change. And lastly, this is like two months after Kind of lost hope at this point and we're again between 80 and 160 parts per million we got to do better but we got all right this is the final straw the turtles are outside for the summer so i just have fish it's a heavily stocked 75 gallon tank now but i just have fish in here i want to see how well that biohome media is really doing because it did not work for the turtle tank itself but i want to see if it can at least do the fish because that would indicate maybe two filters with the media would be able to keep up with something like a turtle Let's test this water and I'll give you the final result of what I think of this biohome media. All right, it's been five minutes on the classic API water test kit. What do we have, people? Let's see. That is an excellent start. It's not deep red. We are landing between 10 and 20 parts per million. That's progress. I did about a 75% water change two weeks ago. So if the turtle was in here, this would have been deep dark red and that would have been way off the charts unhealthy for especially fish turtles are a little more lenient but fish not going to be doing well but this is showing me 20 parts per million that's okay the fish are going to be okay with that especially hardy species like i have in here this is revolutionary it's working it's working folks this is working for fish i know i'm getting really excited here because it wasn't working for the turtles but for the fish this is a lot of fish and you know what i think that means that means I need to get another flu valve, fill it with the biohome filter media, and I think we might be 
in business. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on my channel so that you see once I get a second filter for this tank with the turtles back in it, once fall rolls around, I'm going to try the Biohome Filter Media with about half this number of fish and a turtle. Less water changes for me, at least less stress to do a water change within a two week time frame. Hopefully be able to stretch it out to three, four weeks at first. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, maybe even more because the big filters I have right now, like a Flu Battle Fix 6 for a 75 gallon tank, that's overkill. It can definitely keep it clean. It's at nitrates. That's the hard part. Usually it requires a water change. And if this Biohome Filter Media, if I can get it to work for a turtle, you can get it to work for your tank. And that's gonna be a huge game changer as far as maintenance, as far as headache, as far as concern on what your nitrate buildup is with your pet turtle tank. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a future update on getting a whole nother filter with full of biohome and long live your turtle.